Bam. I greet you in the words of I greet you in the words of Assalamu alaikum, which means peace and blessings be upon you. I mention both Jesus and Muhammad's names because they were messages of truth and reality. You know, and Islam is coming. <laughs> That's what I like to tell everybody in a peaceful manner. You're looking at the Underground Railroad. We come on every Saturday night at 10.30, and I'm trying to meet my new co-hosts. And I'm going to have them introduce themselves, and I want to thank everybody for coming on. Red Ross will be my new co-host. Robert Red Ross, truthradio.net, the butt naked truth. My, t my radio show comes on Thursday at 4 o'clock. It's called The Big Payback, and we end up going off with the boss. I work with children. It's Robert House Inc. I'm glad to be on the show with Brother Cliff and the distinguished guests, Miss Warren and Mr. Warren. May the Creator continue to show us favor. Salam alaikum, brother. Make him salam, rock my children. Shalom to y'all, but go ahead. Hi, my name is Penny Warren. I'm the co founder of the Power Lightning Man television show with my husband, Dr. Lee Warren. We have a cable TV show that comes on every Wednesday, 8 30, 9 30 and re-airs every Thursday, 10.30 to 11.30. I'm Dr. Warren, uh, founder of Flynn, the Power Lady Man. My wife said we come on every Wednesday and Thursday from 8.30. Cut, 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 cut. You can't hear me. You heard it before? Can you hear me now? <laughs> this is funny, man. <laughs> really? No, not really, because you know God hard. It's God work. Satan work, too. <laughs> yeah, yes, uh, we remember things from each other. That's what build us up in character. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, three, two, one. Although the shaitan is locked down, his agents are still working on this planet. We got plenty of workers. Yeah. God, that's the problem God got with his workers. They ain't can television. They have it. Anything positive have problems. If it was up here finna tell a lie, show one straight smooth. Right. We've been up here laughing and joking yeah. and talking about something. Mm -hmm. This would just this broadcast would have yeah. been no problem. Turn up, sponsor <laughs> some liquor or something. Oh, yeah. Right. Anything to put our people further back. Anything gonna push you forward, you gotta work at it. You just have to remember it. Any type of distraction from the truth. Yeah. I call it misdirection, Dr. Warren. They always got you looking over here while they're doing something over there. Yeah, they've been misdirecting us. And they keep us from listening to each other. That's why they put the glitches in. Oh, that show ain't gonna go. Yeah. We, we gonna do everything we can to slow down. Yeah. Especially this Jeff Ford thing. Is <laughs> Time is busy, brother. Mm -hmm. He locked down now, but his agents are still busy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we take him over to the Yes. Preaching the words of Assalamu alaikum, which means peace and blessings be upon you. And I mention both Jesus and Muhammad's names because they were both messages of truth and reality. Peace be upon them both. I want everybody to know that Islam is coming your way, not with war, but with peace. I want to introduce my new co hosts. I'm going to have them introduce themselves in the warns and. Um, Give him my salam alaikum and shalom. Alaikum my salam. Okay, and I'm going to have them introduce themselves. They're giants. 
<laughs> moving right along with uh, the butt naked truth, I'm gonna have to try get time when Mr. and Miss Warren can come on the radio show for a few minutes with me and we can spread some knowledge because I like to gather the people with power and the unity in the community. Together we stand divided, we fall. They pay attention to you when you talk about unity or nation talk because they want you to speak individually. But we all here as a group, we all here as a family. Family is only father and mother, I love you, so it's abbreviated. I'm gonna move on to the next co-host that we're favored by. Thank you so much, Clifton, for having me, my husband, on your show. My name is Penny Warren. I'm co-founder of The Power Latent and Man. That We have a table show on every Wednesday, 8.30, 30 p.m. that re-airs on Thursday, um, 10.30 to 11.30 a.m. I'm Dr. Warren, and I'm, I'm the founder of Plim, The Power Latent and Man. My wife, Laura, gave me the time. We also have a website called plim2.org. Uh, you can find it on the internet. and. Uh, we have free, le free lectures at uh, 1100 East 55th Street in room uh, uh, 208 there at the Lutheran School of Theology. Okay, you know what we're going to talk about today? We're going to talk about the Federal Reserve and the Rothschilds. But first, there were people that tried to warn us about the Federal Reserve. And I think Kennedy and Abraham Lincoln tried to warn the people about the Federal Reserve and the power that they have. Can y'all expand on that? Yeah, the Federal Order, I think 0007. I may be saying it wrong, though. But can y'all expand on that, the Federal Reserve? And Kennedy and Abraham Lincoln trying to warn us about it. Well, the people should look at it. If you got a dollar bill, any type of bill in your pocket, look at it. It says Federal Reserve Note. That's a private bank separate from the United States. It's like a Federal Reserve. Uh, FedEx, FedEx is not part of the federal government. The Federal Reserve uh, uh, Bank is a private bank mm -hmm. that creates the money for this country. In other words, the Treasury, the U.S. Treasury does not create money. And when they want to borrow money, they got to go to the Federal Reserve. So it's a private bank. Okay. And that bank was set up in Europe, as, it, as many banks around the world, it was set up by the Rothschilds family where they just borrow money from a private bank and they charge interest. So every, every dollar that's, in the, is that, that's been in, in circulation, it's interest being charged on it. Whereas if it came from the Federal Reserve, I mean from the U.S. Treasury, it is not debt-based. In other words, it's money that's created and for us to buy and sell and mm. have commerce with each other. But when you have a private bank set up, a private bank makes money, it makes interest. So you're wondering why things have changed in the world. Mm -hmm. See, I'm a war-born baby. Mm -hmm. See, I remember when, 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 when where'd the penny candy go? Mm -hmm. You know, you remember mm -hmm. the penny candy. Most yes, people that, that, that's millennial, mm -hmm. they don't know what about penny candy. Yeah. I remember in 1970, you could buy a a uh, uh, a Mustang for $2,700. Mm -hmm. And my and my grandmother, she bought a flat on the west side of Lawndale for mm -hmm. $1,700. That same damn building mm -hmm. cost all, all, all 170 but it happened to be the black neighborhood. It was in a white neighborhood. It would probably be worth two fifty dollars or $300,000. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Now, what's done happened? The building hasn't changed. It's just the damn money has depreciated in value, and you're wondering why you can't make it because the money is <laughs> worthless. Mm -hmm. You gotta find out about the people that own and control the money in this country. Mm -hmm. You and Brad Ross is gonna direct the question now. Mm -hmm. so, yes, sir. Uh, you, uh, I noticed they had uh, the banking cartel. What do they call those groups in Mexico that sell drugs? They call them the, uh, they don't call them the drug cartel. <laughs> right. I was just using the cartel part, Mr. Warren, because I want you to, to bring it in because it's all cartels and they control things. That's right. And it connects with what you're saying about the privacy of the banks. How about what the penitentiaries are now? Aren't they private? They are privately owned. And that was put up by, for hello, most of your people don't know. Clintons. That was the Clintons <laughs> along with the Republicans that decided to have bank, I mean, penitentiary. You can look it up on the internet. Uh, these uh, they're private prisoners, private prisoners, where well, they sell stock on the New York Stock Exchange, hmm. and the prisoners are put in the bank. The prisoners are put in, put in that prison, mm -hmm. and, and they made an agreement with the governor, the very governor of the state. Listen, you got to keep this prison full, 80 and 90 That's percent right. full. Hmm. That's just, right. like, just like if you got a hotel, you got to have 80 and 90 percent to make profit in the hotel. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. So, what's happening is that and they say, wait a minute. Well, we're going to grab all these Negroes. <laughs> Whatever they do, we don't care what they do, we're going right. to in jail. See it. Right. And, and as a result, they <laughs> work in cheap. That's right. Making products for these private uh, 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 prisons. Yes, sir. You know, parachutes, uh, 
the camouflage, uh, uh, that, that you see the, the, the uh, army wear, all that stuff is done a lot of times by mm -hmm. private uh, uh, prisons right. that have been set up to uh, uh, manufacture products cheap so that they know what they're doing and people have no intent. They don't, they, they've been so dumbed down. They said, why is here in Chicago? It's very <laughs> unusual. They had to turn loose all these black boys mm -hmm. yes, sir. that were being convicted. They found out, oh, they, it was all wrong. It wasn't wrong. Mm -hmm. They need to pack them prisons That's right. full of people That's right. so that they could work, so that the, uh, the, 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 the prisons can make money selling them that, these, that labor to, to corporations. Yes, sir. And as a result, they would make money. Mm -hmm. they, the, the guy that, that was in prison, he wouldn't make it but like 50 cents a day, if that, just That's to right. get mm -hmm. commissary. That's right. And you wonder why, why they put all the people in jail? I don't understand. I said, well, that's very unusual. There's no way in the hell you could have a justice system running <laughs> where you put that many innocent people. You, I could see a few people making error, but damn, everybody, everybody is in the prison for, for stuff that they didn't commit. Right. It's, it's a business. Right. They call, they, that. they call clients, Mr. Warren. They will call clients, exactly. Yeah, and that's how they undercover what they're doing with the scourge of it because I had a life sentence, so I know what you're talking about, but we'll find another show to talk about that on. But I had a life sentence I'd done nine and a half years off of. They gave me 12 cents an hour to work to do the mopping <laughs> and 50 cents an hour to work in Unicord that makes the helicopters and the, and the computer blades. That's it. And then I get out here and can't get, get a job with my background. My resume don't work. That's exactly right. That's how they do it. The, the, what people don't understand, it's a system that has gone amok and, and That's you, have right. a, you, have, you have evil people, a Luciferians that have taken over the system. It's like you, you, your body <laughs> can get a germ or AIDS, HIV, and take over the body. Well, That's right. they have taken over the financial system, the insurance, the banking, the finance, and they have run amok. Yes, and the right. people are running around fighting with one another. You nigga, you a honky, and this, and they yeah. stole the whole damn show, man. Right. <laughs> excuse, excuse me, Miss Warren. Mm -hmm. Dr. Miss Dr. Lee Warren, Miss Warren. I, you know what I like to ask you is, how come the people are being led around by sheep, getting in credit, get, you know, getting them more debt and more mm -hmm. debt and debt, and they actually being led by sh like sheep, mm. and they're being enslaved. Right, because the There's whole system. There's gold in the bank, and you know what? They're constantly borrowing against the gold. It's a book this brother gave me. I appreciate it. And how come the people? are being led like sheep, and they don't realize that there's a group of people that are running the world no matter who the president is. Yeah, they don't understand that the system is debt-based. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you can't yeah. create money without creating <laughs> debt. That's right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, there's a lot of people, they, they had a, a show um, about four families that mm -hmm. went bankrupt in two, 2008, you mm -hmm. know, with all the, um, the uh, uh, real estate stuff. Mm -hmm. So all these people were, you know, telling their stories about how they got into the situations and one lady was taking care of her mother and mm. somebody else, you know, a real estate appraiser mm -hmm. couldn't find a job. He had eight kids. Mm -hmm. A black lady, you know, was working in the school system. Someone else was a plumber or a cement person. Anyway, the whole point is nobody told those people, why don't you just declare bankruptcy? Right. Mm. You know, why are you just struggling so <laughs> to try to keep all this, you know, because they, they were trying to get, you mm -hmm. know, keep their credit scores, mm -hmm. you know, a certain President level. Trump and they were done it, I don't know how many times, but go ahead. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's right. <laughs> right. Well, I'm sorry. 100, you know, 125 Trump, bankruptcy. Right, when you look at Trump, that's, you know, that has, uh, you know, declared bankruptcy. Yes, man. Over and over again. But they don't get the same bankruptcy as regular people do. Right. Not the chapter 7, not the chapter 13. Right. He get the chapter 11. Right. That's for rich people. Right. <laughs> that's when rich people keep all their assets. Right. And just their business goes right. bankrupt. Yeah. You know, so. So the whole system is based on debt mm -hmm. and you know if you don't have the debt um if, and our, our debt keeps increasing and we have this thing called derivatives maybe my husband could go a little bit into, into those derivative. <laughs> derivative. yeah okay. yeah because he because his study and research of the system brings him to that knowledge because when we was coming up when i left mississippi in 1957 i was raised up on never owe nobody mm. right now if you don't owe anybody you don't get anything mm -hmm. i say well that's in reverse was my grandmother and mother wrong? No, they were right. I'm brought up in the wrong world. So it's, mm -hmm. you know, it's, uh, we, we, we sincere people in an insincere world. So Dr. Warren will give you a little more edu 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 education okay. on that. <laughs> well, you want to tell them about derivatives? Well, 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 what happened okay. is that everything is, is, a, is a gambling casino, Las Vegas. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. See, everything is a Las Vegas gambling. What it is is that they have taken so many things. Let me go back to real estate. What they did is they got everybody together 
So they gave everybody a loan. Mm. And some of the loans were just, what can you say about this? See, people, let me say this before I get to that. Mm. If you've got payday loans, yes, sir. and you take your title down there, yes, don't sir. do the damn thing, just because you're gonna get yourself, they, 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 they are sharks there yes, sir. that will get you in hock, just like sharecropping back in Mississippi when mm-hmm. Negroes were out yes, working, sir. they would always work for this white man, Mr. Charlie, yes, sir. see in the fields there, y- yes, sir. and then they would, they would come to Mr. Charlie, he would weigh the cotton, he said, well, this paid out half of debt. You ain't, you ain't, out, you ain't almost out of debt. But you're really not in the debt, but you gotta go out to work at that field over there. Motor. Right. You know, yes, a little sir. bit more to work to give it for feed you, but you can never get out of debt sharecropping. Well, that's right. the same thing they brought up here north. They want to put everybody in debt, and you yes, can't sir. get out of debt forever, and it puts additional stress on you. So when it comes back to the real estate thing, they, 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 got, they got all these loans together, and then they lied and said it was AAA. All these loans <laughs> yeah, that they had, they bread. bundled them together. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, listen, how in the hell can you pay, some of these people were paying 15 to 20, 20% yes. on a mortgage loan. That's a credit card rate. Boy. Right, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and, and then how in the world are you going to ever pay that off? <laughs> yeah. So they bundled them together, and then they sold us to all the universities and people bought because it was, a loan is only supposed to be four or five, maybe six or seven percent. They were doing like 15 to 20 percent. I said, how you paying a loan like this? Yes, sir. And, and, and it got so crazy that yes, what happened when, when people couldn't pay the loan off because the interest rates went back, were jacked up. Yes, sir. They couldn't pay the loan off. Then as a result, the whole damn thing crashed. Yes, now, sir. a derivative is, is an investment where you, when you go to the bank and you get collateral, they say, you, you, mm-hmm. I want $20,000. Mm-hmm. And they say, okay, okay. You got twenty thousand dollars. Okay, what you, what you got is collateral. Mm-hmm. You say well, you got your house, but you put your house up for collateral. Well, they bundle all those loans together, and then they they sell them to people, other people that said this, this particular uh, issue bond will pay eight and nine percent. Well, what, what's happening now is that you got a, 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 a people just couldn't pay the loan off, and the whole damn thing crashed when the economy crashed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The debt is sky high. Yeah. As a result of the federal government spending more money than you can. The problem is, as a result of that, the, the, the country is in so much debt mm-hmm. because there's always interest paid on the debt and it's compounding. That's what that is. And as a result, yes, you mm-hmm. never pay off the debt. <laughs> Right, and the, and the country won't. You borrow more money, and the country won't declare a jubilee. And, and wait, wait, I got that. Okay, oh, shit. <laughs> so what happens is, the problem is, there's no jubilee. The scriptures, you had a jubilee in the children of Israel. All right. The debt keeps building because yes, if, if you couldn't pay off the debt for this year, then you borrow more to pay off that debt and put some more. <laughs> okay, you keep. Well, you got. Well, you got to pay off the debt for the previous year since you didn't pay it off. <laughs> That's interest being compounded on that debt. Then you borrow some more money, and then that's interest on that debt. It keeps ball, it keeps rolling and rolling. Next thing you know, the the interest payments are so great now, there's almost greater than the income. That's what people understand about the economy. Mm-hmm. The interest is so great now uh, that, for instance, say we could collect three hundred trillion dollars. Uh, 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 said three trillion dollars. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then the interest may be five hundred trillion. I mean, five hundred billion, a half a trillion. And it keeps building till it's a trillion dollars. Well, it gets to a point where the interest consumes half of the revenue that the that the, that the country has for taxes. So mm-hmm. they can't they can't do anything. So they have to declare default or whatever. Mm-hmm. It gets so crazy. That's mm-hmm. where you are now. So mm-hmm. Trump comes in and he says, "I'm going to cut all this stuff back." <laughs> oh. and, and, and as a result, you got total confusion. Yes, sir. As a result, so what they do? They keep printing money. They keep yes, printing sir. money. They boost the stock market up. They they keep. <laughs> <laughs> running a Ponzi Same. scheme. Yes, sir. As a result, yes, sir. Like a Ponzi scheme. scheme. It's a big at the, Ponzi scheme. At the high level. Yes, it's sir. A, it's, a big, it's a big Ponzi scheme. The, 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 for instance, you take a, a company, they buy their own stock back. Yes, sir. So they bid Instead stock. of putting it into the company. Yeah, then. But instead of putting it into the company, they would take their money, the money they earned, they would buy, the, they would buy their own stock. Yes, and, and say, wait a minute, what you doing? You're not expanding. You're not expanding the company. You're just running the Ponzi scheme. Right. Mm-hmm. The, the, the executives get huge amount of money. And yes, sir. Work and don't get anything. Yes, Excuse sir. me. Either one of y'all. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what? Now I got it. <laughs> the president does not run anything. It's the bankers. <laughs> oh, I got it now. You, uh, well, you know, the, 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 by them being puppet masters, you see, bank gangsters go to jail. Banksters don't. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay, That's I got it. it. It's not. It's you know. You didn't run nothing. <laughs> Trump didn't win. I'm running nothing. No. There he goes. Right. Well, you notice that the all, bankers. All the real estate. All the real 
real estate loans that they came in and had predatory loans. Right. All wow. that stuff. Yes, sir. Nobody ever went to jail. No. Uh, uh, for the last 2008 when, yeah, no. when everything crashed. That's right. No, none of the bankers went to jail. No, sir. But see, you, you park your car out there in the street to get sold. I guarantee you. <laughs> yes, sir. But see, the bankers, get, well, they, well, they run this mother. Yeah. Ain't nobody going to change or nothing. Change. Yes, sir. Because they, they, they the ones that create... <laughs> The money and run the situation. And what make it so <laughs> de- so make it so delicate what he's saying. When they tried to fool you with Lincoln freeing the slaves and Kennedy liking us, they was talking about messing with that money. That's it. Yes. And you get shot in the head. That's <laughs> when right. about, yeah. oh, okay, I ain't gonna, yeah. we ain't gonna okay. go. Okay, for instance, those of us that came here, for, let, let us go back here. To 1965, mm. you know what the silver dime and the bold dollars. You know yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dollar. I got them all. Uh, I said, now, <laughs> uh, 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 now, I'm gonna tell you right now. One dime is worth a dollar. If you got a half a dollar, it's worth five dollars. Now, no. what's the problem? A silver <laughs> dollar is fifty cents. Okay. It's 1965 and back. You tell me what the what's wrong? What's the, what the do the math? <laughs> a fifty cent silver dime, a dime or a fifty cent silver dollar will cost you five dollars if you go to a, 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 a silver store. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, and it says I worth a half a dollar. It's 50 cents. Well, why gotta pay you five? Because the damn money is not worth anything. <laughs> that's right. Five dollars times 50 cents. Yes, sir. Worth nothing. That's, that's <laughs> 10 times. That means your money, has, de- your, your, your has, money depreciated. has depreciated. Your money has depreciated 10 times. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. You know what? It was, I just, y'all explain. Now I understand. They understand. Yes, sir. Okay. But what I really want to know is damn, who are the rock child? Who are the rock childs? And are they thieves? You know, you have somebody that robs with a gun, and mm-hmm. you have somebody that robs with a pen. Are mm-hmm. they thieves? Who are they? They are the thieves. What happened? Who are they, though? Right happened? there in front of you. This. If you go back to the 15 to 1600, in, in the Western world, mm-hmm. in Europe, uh, none of the Europeans, the Pope was running the show. The Pope mm-hmm. said, yes, sir. Mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. Could not, you could not use usury. <laughs> For, for, for uh, usury, I mean, charging interest on money. Yes, sir. What happened, the Jews was that the ghettos are there, and what happened, well, we had this real smart family. You're saying the Jews, you're making me scared. Nah, the, the, weird, the, Jews, brother. the Jews in Europe, All right. how, how they got a hand on it, okay. and yeah. one little Jew, it was a Rothschild, his family, you know, mm-hmm. they're in Germany, mm-hmm. and they had the ability to manipulate money, make money. Mm-hmm. And this one particular Jew, uh, uh, was Rothschild. Yes, sir. He, 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 remember, all the money was owned by the kings of Europe. Yes, sir. And this one particular uh, 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 Jew, Rothschild, that's what it, his name was, was Mayor, M-E-A-Y-R, but they charged the Rothschild with Red Shield. Uh-huh. What he did was he was able to make a ton of money mm-hmm. for, the, for the royal family. They said, oh, you the man. <laughs> yeah. You the man. He <laughs> made all this money, so he, he made tons of money, so he began to manipulate the various markets that they had back there. Mm-hmm. And as he became very, very wealthy, uh, him and his family, they divided, they, they, they basically, this is a long story short, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they divided, the, they had five of them, so they said, listen, what we're gonna do now, since we made so much money with the royal families, we're gonna lend money to the royal family of the, of the kings of the nation. That's how mm. we make our money. Yes, sir. So we divided five five of us. We went one went to England, one went to Paris, one went to somewhere okay. in Italy. Yes, sir. So then they began to manipulate money That's and run right. the banking system. That's but right. They only loaned to the royal families. That's right. The nations. Right. And they they got buku money and, and and one of the Rothschilds, Nathan, he ro- he married into the royal family of uh, of Europe. Okay. So that's how they got they made their money. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, you got a question for. So, 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 so that if you're able to manipulate money uh, 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 and, and on the stock market and all that, you are being used as a tool for the, for the, for the, for the, for the wealthy. And as that, you, you, you marry into these royal families and, and then you become... The blue uh, bloods. That's right. So and that's, that, that's how they got That's started. a part of those nine families that run the world. That's a part of the nine families that, run, that literally run the world. The royal families along with the Rothschilds and other families. That, yes, sir. That, that, how do you think... Uh, um, Columbus got over here. He had to have a ship. You know, That's he, right. Who That's the, right. Who financed the slavery? Say it. Say it. We ain't talking about the middle class. Y'all people. hear that out there? <laughs> yes, sir. Right. The middle class white people that you see walking the street, they don't own nothing. Matter nothing. Fact, they look just like us. They just That's right. Stage. They That's find it out right now. It's the economy crash. That's they're right. They're going to lose everything. They're going to be in the street like with us. Yes, sir. And see, what's happening now is that since you have these folks uh, that control everything yes, and, sir. and they're wealthy, they're yes, listen. Sir. 
they're gonna have to crash the system because the system has to, the system is bankrupt. It's literally bankrupt right now. Literally. Yes, sir. It's literally so the dollar up. bill ain't we even worth the your money. Is what it's worth it on. And and yes, if you, want, <laughs> if you take a hint, just look up what Russia and China are doing. They buy nothing but gold. They That's buy right. All right. the gold and silver they can get their hands on. Damn, I gotta look at my dollar bill. It ain't even worth this, what it's printed on. No, it's not no. Worth no. It's no. On. You can't do nothing with a and, dollar. And, <laughs> and that's why, and that's why they kid, the murder of Gaddafi was so important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the gold, the people that murdered him was the same ones that borrowed money from him. Mm -hmm. See, what Gaddafi was, see, Gaddafi, his mistake was that he said, what we're going to do, we're going to set up a, 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 an African a dinar. That's right. A, a gold coin. That's right. We're not going to trade with this paper no more. That's right. You're going to trade with this. Me. No. no. They're going to trade with this, sir. <laughs> we're not going to trade. I'm giving you real oil. I'm giving, okay. you, a I'm giving you a barrel of oil for yes, some sir. paper. That's right. <laughs> I'm taking this paper and I'm finding out, and wait a minute, it don't buy the same thing it bought. Right. Two, three, you know, it's getting worse. I so wait a minute, now we ain't playing that game no more. Sure. Right. Right. So, uh, 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 His worst he, mistake was yeah, he told them. Yeah, he told them what he was going to do. <laughs> yeah. And that's why they said, listen, this Mr. Warren is dead right. right. I remember, right. Obama, I remember right. seeing a picture with him and Obama shaking, shaking hands. hands. Yeah. But there yeah. are people that love Obama. Yeah. But you know what? But he ousted them. They don't know Hillary what to love. Said, we came and we conquered, but y'all yeah. love Obama. And she so, laughed. And yeah. Hillary laughed about crooked yeah. Hillary. Yeah. yeah. Laughed about Yeah, said they killed <laughs> say they killed Ben Laden, they came, they saw they killed. That's she right. said she laughed as a joke, but it wasn't no joke to the creator. But y'all yeah. love Obama. Yeah. <laughs> the same thing happened with, with, with Saddam. Saddam said, Well listen, I'm not trading no more dollars. That's I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna use euros. So That's right. As soon as he as soon as he decided to do two things, he decided to trade and not use the dollar. Then he had to go. As long as he killed them, uh, he killed his citizens and did all that. He did a whole lot of crazy stuff. Yeah, that was okay. That was okay. But he, yeah. when he said he wasn't going to use a dollar no more because the dollar is a reserve currency. Long as uh, uh, reserve currency, stop every, everything is priced <laughs> in dollars. If and you, you know, Mister Mister Warren, gold, uranium, oil is all priced in dollars. And people said, "No, this is stop for a lot." Yeah, Mister Warren is so learned in the in the education of it because Saddam. Had a, just what he was talking about, but they weren't gonna let him flip the script. That's right. They weren't. They weren't gonna let the euro go. See, I knew about the euro back in 1971 when people thought I was crazy. Under the 360 degrees of the Moorish Temple, that was teaching about the euro was coming this way, but it was too far ahead. You know, Mr. Warren is just like Noah. He said it was gonna rain for 100 years. Mm -hmm. He blowing the same rain dance whether they get the umbrella or not. <laughs> We gonna be on the ship, all right? You know, they, they got the club to say buy gold. <laughs> yeah, they, you knew about the club. Right? But, I do not. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But anyway, what I would like to ask you is, people do not understand no, that sir. the bankers and Prescott Bush help Hitler. That's right. They yeah. helped to finance a war to kill people with Jewish consent. People That's don't right. understand it. Can y'all expand on it? They created all type of wars against this side and that side, they, and here it is. Mm -hmm. They made money on both sides. Can y'all explain it? Well, 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 you have that now. Google and, Google and most of the Silicon Valley, they helped build up China's technology. What do you, what, what, what is, if you go back 50 <laughs> years, let people walk around and, 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 and they, didn't have, they didn't have leather shoes in China. That's right. Google. Say it, bro. They, That's they right. go backwards as they can. <laughs> That's right. And Bush and, and Bush and, and and Nixon went over to China. They said, "Listen, this is the deal we're gonna run with y'all. Y'all yeah. got all this labor over here. Yes, sir. They ain't laying around. They ain't doing nothing. But we'll do then. We'll give you the technology. Yes, sir. You produce cheap products for here. Then yeah. we'll, yes, we'll sir. sell them to Americans. You just buy our debt. You buy all the bonds and stuff from us. And listen, we're cool. Yes, sir. And we'll give you all the check. Oh, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the Chinese said, "Well, we got one thing. And anybody that comes here." The Chinese has to have fifty-one percent, and all the technology y'all have That's to give right. us. That's right. That's right. So then, after fifty years, you look around and say, "Damn, they got cars. They got <laughs> yeah. cars. You look at yeah. this. Wait a minute. You see that jet plane? That's the same thing we got. Well, how yeah. did they get that? Right. Okay, you gave it to them. Right. Huh. And they own downtown. That's right. <laughs> they come here and they children get in the condominiums. You staying in apartments that you getting put out of. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Yeah. That, uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, Mr. Warren, he, he, he's learning. Him and his wife know the people. It's the, if they, if they had different titles, different government positions, they'd be listened to. Mm -hmm. But you know, we had to come from the underground railroad to get on top of the rail. Yeah. <laughs> Dirty butt neck. What you okay. say? The butt neck truth. Right? Yes, sir. <laughs> Everything is controlled.